Hi everyone, so today we'll be doing this little pipe cleaner and clothespin dragonfly. It looks like this. You don't want to open it because then the wings will fall out. There's a little mouth I drew there. What you're going to need is, well, clothespin. Two pipe cleaners, you need one for each wing. Unless for some reason you only want to do one wing, then I don't know how it'll look. You'll need a sharpie for like the eyes and stuff. Unless you want to do like a pen or a pencil or something else. It's up to you. I'm using a sharpie. And then to draw the lines, you can use any kind of marker you have. I just am using a paint marker because it's what I have. Forgot to shake it. I'll do that later. Because that's what I have. You can use like a normal marker. And if you also if you want, when I get to drawing the lines, it'll be in a second. You can draw with a pencil so you can space them out perfectly even and make them nice looking, make them like perfect looking. But if you don't feel like freehanding it, but I'm gonna freehand it. What you're going to need is take a there. Mm. Can I speak? Close pen. The other side is going to be the top. I'm going to go with this one. Take your Sharpie. And then just draw little eyes on top. Like that. And if you want, like yeah, I did the other one, you can do a little mouth. But you can skip that if you want. I'm going to do it. Like that. Now you're done with the Sharpie, unless you want to make a black dragonfly and draw your lines with the Sharpie. But I'm going to use a paint marker, which I'll be right back. I forgot to shake it. I'm back. It's shaken. I'm going to take it off. Cover. And then you just start drawing lines. You just, you can look at this one. For roughness. I just colored the end a little more because that's how I wanted it to look. But you can do whatever you want. I'm just going to draw. And again, you can use like draw a pencil. And then draw over it if you don't feel good freehanding. I just feel fine freehanding though. And if it's not perfect, I don't really care. He can be a little odd. I'm not sure if it's a he or she. I'm just saying he because I said so. And then he'll do that. Then I'll just fill this last part in. Well, here's the number of normal markers. I'll be fine. But since I'm using paint markers, I'm going to have like this dry after I'm done. Although I like the color on the side, you can just do the top if you want, but I like the sides too because it makes it look nicer. Like that. I also do the bottom on the side, I'm just doing one part at a time. I also like to do that end part too. That's how I did it on the other guy. And then I'm going to turn it around. Since that part's still wet, I'm not going to touch it, so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do the bottom part. I'm going to do the top part next on this side. It's a little hard to do when you get to the parts of the metal, so you can just skip parts of those if you can't quite get it. And it'll look fine because it's a clothespin. Now I'm going to start drawing the bottom part. You could draw on the actual bottom of it if you wanted. I just don't really see a reason to. I'm just fine with it not being on the bottom. And now I'm going to draw the end part on this side, color on that side. You can just keep coloring. A normal marker would be like way easier because you wouldn't have to like wait for it to dry or anything. But paint markers do seem to dry pretty fast. It's just they're wet for a little bit in the beginning, whereas normal markers aren't really as much. And then once you get them done, colored in. For me, I'm going to have to let them dry for a second. And I'll just set him there for a second and let him dry. It won't take long. It doesn't take real long to let him dry it at all. And while he's doing that, we'll start on the wings. You take one, fold it in half, open it back up, take this, fold it in half, but just a little bit extra. Like, see how it's a little bit extra? But don't, like, actually bend this. You want this to stay round. And then take this little extra and then wrap it around to hold it in place. Like that. And then take the other side and do the exact same thing. Just a little extra. And make sure not to fold this part because you want it to be rounded, sort of. Unless, of course, you want your dragonfly to look completely different. Then go ahead and do whatever you feel like. So there. My wings are a little offside on this one, but when I put the, pipe, put the thing, I'll put the. I cannot speak. Close pen, it'll look fine. 
I need to do the same with the other one. Fold it in half. You fold this in. And then you wrap this little bit extra around. Try not to bend this. And you can also like reshape it if it didn't shape quite the way you want it. And then this side. Fold it in. And you can like shape it a little bit. And then bend this part up, up and around. And now you can take these two parts. Kind of put them together like that. Open your little guy up. And you want to try to get it right in that little opening part right there. And you want to put them right in there. And you can kind of adjust it a little bit. How they, Once you get it in, then you can kind of like push them on how they sit. And they make them touch and not touch and whatever you want. I want mine to overlap just a little bit. Like that. And then, once you're done with that, you're done. This is how you make them. If you like craft colored fins, give us a thumbs up. Comment down below any ideas and subscribe. Bye!